I mean, something like that's cute. But I have my tea. I am ready. Are we, are we ready? I don't think I'm ready. Let's do it. I'm, I'm actually scared. Right, let's do it. Let's do it. Pray, come in and take your ease. Hi, Nenemo. You okay? I'm worried about you. I had hoped to speak in the presence of her grace, but it seems she has been delayed. That being the case, now would seem as good a time as any. For... Honoured friends, pray allow me to convey Ishgard's warmest gratitude for your part in the defense of our lands. Nobody really helped, though. Only some people did. Tis upon the success of this very alliance that my recommendation to throw open the gates of judgment shall be founded. With the blessing of the Archbishop, it is my hope that Ishgard will soon be reunited with her long-estranged sister nations, and that Eorzea shall once nice. more be as one. That's good then. All right, Alfie. Very well. Okay. Is Artemis? So nothing to worry about. I shall return anon. Mm. Your grace. The music is stunning though. Like it's just so like so calm. It's just very pretty. Like it's so simple, but just really nice. You must be curious as to the reason for mm -hmm. this private audience. The matter I would discuss, however, will soon make apparent the need for discretion. Okay. I intend I to abdicate the cats. throne and dissolve Sorry. the monarchy. Not the time. You have seen for yourself the storm of turmoil that howls through our streets. The government fails in its responsibilities, and my subjects suffer the consequences of our incompetence. Maybe that's why she slow blinked at me, because I'm a cat. But I will see them suffer no longer. The victory feast shall provide the stage on which I declare the dissolution of the Sultanate. Tis mine intent that the ruling class of our golden city should take its place beside the common man in a fair and equitable republic. No more shall this nation bow to the whims of a privileged few. Oh, I love her. She's so sweet, isn't she? Like, she has such good intentions. That, that which I propose will entail the tearing up of this city's very foundations. It's going to be interesting to see what and happens. Rodan, with all his strength and influence, will be hard-pressed to keep his footing on such treacherous ground. Will you do this thing for me? Of course. Whatever you need. She seems surprised. I am truly grateful. More grateful than I can well express. It's like she almost didn't Much expect of my me dread to for the coming days help. has been quieted. What's going on? What is going on? What is happening? What just happened? I swear to God, I swear to God, I swear. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Fuck off. Now's not the time. Fuck oh, off. Your Grace. Her Grace, the Sultana, is dead. Poison? 
In Hawaii? Fuck off. I don't... You, you did this. I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. Fuck you. <laughs> you kidding Spare me? Your denials. I see no other suspects. And the room has but the one entrance. Suck my dick. Like, actually... I hereby accuse you of a regicide. Oh, you fucking... Men, arrest this viper. He makes me so angry. He makes me so angry. Why the fuck? <laughs> she just wanted good for the world. She just wanted everyone to be happy. <laughs> Are you kidding? <sighs> we have detained all those with allegiance to the Scions. The Rising Stones is also under our control. <laughs> this is just Ruby Volume 3 and I can't be dealing with this bullshit right now. <laughs> Welcome to the actual game. I don't want to be here. I don't want to play the actual game. I was happy with all the happy stuff and murdering everything else, but now I'm sad. <laughs> And everything's dying. Suck my dick, Teleji, you prick. Fucking hate you. Amaric, stab Lord him. Commander, we have received an urgent message from the Holy See. No, don't listen to him. We've had no such word from our men, and the timing is most fortuitous to catch us away from the city. Don't listen to him, he's a liar. Most fortuitous indeed. You have been a most gracious host. No, yeah. He I hope that I might one day return the favor. Look at Sancred flying with cute cat girl. <laughs> Whatever is going on in there? <laughs> oh. Ah, the ever-dutiful brass blades. I must apologize, but my dance card is rather full. <laughs> Another time, perhaps? Go on, Thagrid, beat him Thagrid, up. of the Scions of the Seventh Door. Thank you, Penny. I need the purse. The purse made me happy. Yes! I love it when you're feisty. Ignore this. Just focus on the game, Trajari. What the fuck? Fuck. My brain. Okay, I'm gonna carry on. Try not to cry more. You best come along with us. You invite me to your party and now you want me to leave? I do so detest receiving mixed signals. Beat him up, Thancred. Beat him up. Come then. I believe I've lost my appetite for this farce of a celebration. Stab them. Stab them. Even I got emotional, that doesn't happen often. Does it get worse? How can it get worse? Who else is gonna die? I can't have more people dying. I'm not ready. You go too far, Lord Adelegi. By what right do you march armed soldiers into a royal banquet and eject state visitors without her grace's consent? <laughs> you treat the brass blades as your personal army and show contempt for the throne with your every act. He's Leave gonna us be dis now. He's going to be ruined when he finds out. As for your outrageous claim that I have shown contempt for the throne, let all here observe that it was not I who feasted while an assassin removed its occupant. I expect this is your idea of defending the nation, is it? This and diluting our forces through these distractions in Cartano and Curthus. I do begin to see how the ranks of the immortal flames came to be riddled with Garlean sympathizers. You are plainly unfit for command. Wait. Wait, gods damn you. Your words make no sense. What assassin? <gasps> you mean to say you don't know? We caught the vaunted champion of the Scions in her grace's private chambers, not moments after the deed was done. No! No, this cannot be! Save your breath! 
You will need it to plead your case. You and your entire order are to be tried for this atrocity. Bring in the prisoner. Oh, suck a dick. Fucking bitch. <laughs> This woman stands oh, accused God. of poisoning Her Royal Majesty Nanamu Ulnamo and is suspected accessories to the crime. All Ew, members of no. the Scions of the Seventh Dawn will be detained for questioning. This is madness! What a pity. Who'd have thought your oh, tale God, would no. end like <laughs> Should you demand further proof, a vial with traces of the substance used to poison her grace was found upon the assassin's person. <laughs> How very convenient. You would speak of convenience? Who persuaded her grace to host this celebration? A diversion which presented you and your confederates ample opportunity to commit the crime and a crowd within which to fade from view. A more convenient occasion I could scarcely imagine. How dare you! After all we have done for Uldar! Break loose and hit the holy spell! <laughs> oh. Hold your tongue, witch! Fuck I off! I hate you! I know you. all about the dark gift that you and your disciples oh. wield. Oh, yes. I've observed how you worked upon the minds of the Alliance leaders, bending them to your will. Your next move will be to charm your Curthen allies into invading our lands. Now, that is truly ridiculous. You tell it, Babalimo. How do you even think of this stuff? Yeah, you tell him, Ida. She... she cannot no. be dead. <laughs> Stand aside, Ilbert. I want to see the Sultana. Spare yourself the pain, brother. I saw her with my own eyes. <laughs> For a mercy, the poison took her swiftly. Her handmaiden can attest to that. She didn't seem surprised, though, so she's obviously in on it. She just stood there watching. This cannot be. Not no more. No, no more. No! <laughs> I hate it. I want to go home. I hate you. <laughs> Plainly, the royalists can no longer be relied upon to keep our nation safe. And so it falls to the monetarists of the Syndicate to govern Uldar. But should you wish to help us, General, we would be more than happy to entrust the task of planning Her Grace's funeral to you. Now is not the fucking time, my dude. It seems only right dude. that you should bury your precious Sultana, and we will be glad to be rid of that burden. Are you... oh my god. Mm. Punch him, kick him, whatever I'll you need to do. you will. You more than oh. any man. Whatever do you mean? He's so smug. Oh, <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> I mean, you had her killed, you black-hearted bastard. <laughs> what rot? <laughs> Though I did have sufficient motive, it is true. That young lady caused me no end of grief. Ugh. She always was a most unwilling puppet. I dare say her grace was grateful that someone thought to cut her strings. He's trying to rile him up her, and try. Oh. Then mock her from What the? 
Oh my god, that is actually terrifying. Oh Have my god. Have you lost your mind, General? It is forbidden to draw steel in the royal chambers, much less slaughter our fellow syndicate members. I mean, he fucking deserved it. Like, I'm not gonna lie, he fucking deserved it. But like, You're oh no, them. it's only just gonna you cause him more issues. <laughs> like, I wanted him dead too, but like... You, your oh, no. next to scheming bastard. No. Like you, old friend. I did not expect to take your arm so easily. <laughs> take the scions into custody. They have conspired to commit regicide. And arrest this traitor as well. Oh, fuck's sake. Gilbert, I hope you choke on their coin. Tis better than the dirt I've supped on these long years. We can't all abandon Alamigo and become great war heroes as you have. Oh, fuck off. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you are not the man you once were, Raban. Since that girl strapped the yoke around your neck, you become docile. Oh, but why? We she took the you. mad bull and cut off his balls. And a bull that cannot rot is fit for naught but slaughter. Shall I tell you who really killed your precious Sultana? <sighs> it was me. Fucking prick. Fucking prick. Absolute prick. You. You die! <laughs> For a moment, but there is more to this than I yet understand. Flee this place. Clear your names. Find out who is behind this plot. It is the only way. Now go! Where have you been? You missed a lot. <laughs> Avoid.
avoiding the fumbling advances of some very persistent admirers. <laughs> Twould appear that much of the city is already under tight guard. It occurs to me that expanding the Brass Blade's authority may not have been such a wonderful idea after all. I need a breather. Oh my god. All right, let's continue. I'm gonna just cry again, but it's fine. It's fine. The success fine. of this plan was contingent upon those thugs having the run of the place. Just how long has this scheme been in motion? The careful preparations, the maneuvering of forces. I am inclined to agree with the General's insistence that a deeper plot exists here. So, would I be right in thinking we now have an excuse to pummel as many brass blades as we like? <laughs> yes, Ida. Yes. Unless you plan on pummeling them all, I'm not sure that will greatly aid our cause. Yeah, but it gets the stress out, you know? You know? The Sultana's assassination was but one part of the scheme. We two were its targets. And though we did not share Pornonimo's fate, we are yet hobbled by the charges laid at our door. Where now might we seek refuge? Where indeed, we may safely assume that our foe has thought to have the Rising Stones watched. <sighs> Happily, I believe I can provide one. Papa Shan once told me about the passages hidden in the walls of the palace. If I recall correctly, the fireplace in Anima's chambers conceals the entrance to a tunnel. It should lead outside the city and allow us to avoid any messy confrontations. Ida? 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 The rest of you go on ahead. I'll handle this lot. Ida? By yourself? Ida? Oh, I suppose I shall just have to join you. Crystal Braves too, huh? Now this should be interesting. Ida, Papa Limo! Sake. Oh, say no. I can't no. They have to be fine, right? Like they have to be. Now, find this tunnel of thankrets. I swear to God. You two fucking better make it out alive. I swear to God. I'll be pissed if you don't. Minfilia, we cannot linger. I swear to God, if they die, I swear, I swear if they die, I swear if they die. <laughs> they don't have a tank and a healer. Fuck. <laughs> no. Look what you've done. Ida, please. Go on, Ida. Kill him. Come Ida, on, Ida. Are you all right? There are just too many of them. I'm fine. I could do this all day. How about you? Nearing the end of my tether. This is so stupid. We're the scions of the seventh dawn, the ones who stand between this realm and the evil that's trying to destroy it. And if you think we'll leave the stewardship of Eorzea to the likes of your masters, then you're solely mistaken. I'm sorry my commentary is shit, I'm just sad. <laughs> I don't know what to say, I'm just so it hurts. Sorry I dragged you into this Papalimo. <laughs> <sighs> Tis hardly the first time, and I'll be damned if it will be the last. You've got this, guys. I have faith. Go on, Papalimo. Oh. Go on, Ida. You show him. I love her so much. Look at her go. <sighs> Let them have it, Ida! I'm 
was hoping you'd say that. Okay. Are they okay? Are they okay? I never knew such a watercourse existed beneath Uldar. Are they okay? I um ah, I can't. They better be okay. Like I swear to God, they have to be okay because they have to be okay. They definitely are. don't say that because I can't deal with your negativity right now, Rack. I can't deal. Sure, I can't deal with your negativity right now. From the responses, I have a feeling they're not okay. Then I can't deal with that right now. Can't cope. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the architecture is of the Sildene style, if I'm not mistaken. The ancients plainly foresaw the need for a ready means of escape. <laughs> this fucking game. This way! <laughs> well, that didn't take long. It seems these tunnels were not as secret as I'd hoped. <laughs> Either I swear. No, you stole it. 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 No. <laughs> no. What? What do you mean to do? No. You stole it. I swear Only to God. Only that is required to ensure that the dawn's light survive to brighten the morrow. Stole it. Fear not, antecedent. You haven't seen the last of these fair features. <laughs> Better fucking not have, I swear. My friends. Leave us. There's no way they're all dying. Like, I refuse to believe. They can't kill everybody. Like, I refuse to believe. What they're not killing the plan, everybody. Lady? No. Shall I take the dozen on the left no. and you the dozen on the right? The odds are not exactly stacked. They'll be fine. Favor. They're gonna be fine. Numbers will count for little when I bring the tunnel down upon their heads. Though I cannot say I relish the thought of being entombed with you for all eternity. <laughs> you wound me. I will have you know that many a man will kill for the chance to spend forever at my side. Siri would. Now, may I have the last dance? Stop. <laughs> Going splendidly. <laughs> now would be a good time, my lady. It's done. Me. 
I must remain behind. <laughs> I swear to Christ. With me. <sighs> Nophelia. Please, you must no. go on. You are the warrior of light. You are hope for the Scions and for all the realm. As long as your flame continues to burn, <laughs> the light of the dawn may ever be relit. You must <laughs> escape and save Eorzea from those who would plunge it into darkness. Tis the only way. <laughs> fuck this game. Man, fuck this game. Like, truly, why would you do this to me? <laughs> Are you kidding? The signs of the seventh dead. <laughs> oh, I can't. I. Oh. Then there was only you. <laughs> My friends are dead. I hate this. Oh, fuck. I'm glad to see you safe, my friend. What of the others? <laughs> They're not okay. <laughs> Damn that man. Taleji played me for a fool. I thought the crystal braves mine till the very moment I felt the blade at my back. Oh, that doesn't need courage to stop playing for his first. Perfect. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go well, back. Would you look Start who again. it is. Need a ride? Why? I doubt it'll be half as exciting as the last trip we took. Not if I have anything to say about it anyway. <sighs> I was not expecting to see him again. Let's not dawdle, eh? All aboard! I was stocking up on supplies over in Vesper Bay, you see, when your sister come up and begged a favor. <laughs> Said her brother was having some trouble down in Uldar and likely needed a helping hand getting away. Thinking them ruins would make a fine hiding place. I this hurts. To try there first. Wait, it's all looped back behold, round. This is where were. we started with Alfie in the carriage. Aye, and judging by them soldiers, as so much has happened city, since. I arrived not a moment too soon. And who might you be, young sir? Pippin Tarupin, Vice Marshal of the Immortal Flames. I had been on the Alamegan front these past few moons, but an urgent communication called me back to Uldar. The blame plainly lies with the Monitorists. Their greed and corruption are well known to me, but for them to take advantage of the situation with such alacrity... Was that Pippin, you said? Ain't that the name of General Alden's lad? Yes, I am his son. Adopted, of course. It was only as we were leaving Uldar that I learned of father's fate. I dreamed of bringing about Eorzea's salvation. But in the end... Help me. It was I who needed saving. <laughs> Help me. Don't say that. Oh. I can't believe I made a new pretty outfit and everything for this shit to happen. Like, I got all dressed up glam and pretty just for this to ruin me. Alpha, no, my boy. Sorry to keep you waiting. <gasps> Sid! <laughs> I missed you! <laughs> Sid, what are you doing here? <laughs> Putting out the fire as usual. Your merchant friend told me everything. Sid, I missed you. <laughs> there we go. Sid will make everything better. Oh, I love him. Good luck. It only gets worse from now on. Thank you, Siri. I love you, Sid. Bye-bye. I love how much it feels like a family, though. Like, Sid feels like such a nice father figure. And Alfie just feels like a little brother. And it just feels like a little family. I really hope nothing ever happens to them. <laughs> We should make for Count Dragon Head and speak with Lord Horoshaphon. Mayhap, mayhap he will know what to do. I hope so. Something's gonna happen to them eventually and it's gonna ruin me, but... I'm not gonna think about that right now.
Master Alvino told me your tale, Marie Rose. It warms my heart that you should turn to me before all others, and I shall endeavour to deserve your trust. Alas, the situation here has grown more complicated in your absence. It would be best if I explained in full. And why is this called Before the Dawn? That's also the other Ruby book. <laughs> How keenly we feel the loss of our wards at the gates of judgment. Yet we must not bemoan our misfortune. Sir Emmerich is safely returned from Uldar and once more leads the defense of Ishgard. But do not despair. You are not without allies. You are more than welcome to shelter here for as long as you wish. Pray, Thank you. think of it as a new headquarters of sorts. The falling snows or some such. Oh. All frivolity aside, any who come here in search of you will receive no aid from House Fortong. For once, the Ishgardian reputation for inhospitality shall work in our favor. Oh, Alfie. Tis bitterly cold this day. I suspect there are those who might welcome the warmth your presence brings. <laughs> Thanks. Greetings, madam. Shall I show you inside? Upon oh my god, more. Oh, I'm not ready. <laughs> Uh, is this gonna break me again? And am I gonna cry again? I don't know if I'm ready to cry again. <laughs> I'm gonna just calm down. I'm still like not fully okay. <laughs> Touch me! <laughs> no, she's gonna be so sad. Alpha no, my re is that you? Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to disable that so I can actually read it. No, no. I'm so happy that you are. I had to try contact him and Felia and the others, but no one would And then the Crystal Braves, our own people, turned on us in the marketplace. Flo would tell me to run, and so I did. I ran and I ran until my lungs burned and my feet ached, but I lost my way, and then... Unfortunately, I had observed some of the Braves behaving suspiciously beforehand. You curry? <laughs> hmm? Oh yeah, my mask, it was lost in the struggle. She's so pretty. Pretty isn't she? She is. Because obviously, th wasn't this the first time people ever saw an aura, right? Sorry, where was I? Oh yes, we waited there at the waking sounds, hoping others would come, but no one else did. We people are searching for the other signs even as we speak, but we have met with no success as yet. I hope that you might be able to suggest further places to look. Ah, uh, but you should know. The Rising Stones did not share the waking sounds' good fortune. Only Crystal Braves await you there. Tis all my doing. Here is the self pity phase. I get it though. He's still a child, guys. I believed myself the only oh. one who truly understood Eorzea's woes. And look what that arrogance has wrought. I gave commands, influenced <sighs> governments with my certainty. I treated the Crystal Braves and even the Scions themselves as pawns in my great scheme to save the realm. It's okay, I'll be. <laughs> You just wanted the best but in for my everyone. headlong rush into imagined glory, <laughs> I paid no heed to the ground upon which I trod. The salvation of Eorzea. What was it that I hoped to achieve? Did I believe that I could rid the realm of every danger and difficulty? That I could defeat the Empire and the Asians, And find homes for every refugee? So, Master Alfino, are you content to remain a broken blade? Is there no flame hot enough to reforge you? What of the fine companions who yet stand at your side? I dare say the fires of their determination will soon have you slicing the air again with your customary <laughs> wit. I hardly deserve such friendship. And besides, where are we to go? Should this place not serve our purpose, then then we shall go to Ishgard. Minfilia told me many times, as long as we stand fast against despair, the beacon of hope will never be lost to sight. 
be it in the snow or in the clouds, we few will see that the dawn's light shines again. I love her so much. <laughs> <laughs> you are right, Totaro. Thank you. And thank you for your kind words, Lord Orshfong. <sighs> Tis true that Eorzea yet has her guardians. <sighs> the Scions have achieved much, and would be remiss of me to discard it all in a fit of self-pity. Let us then resume our journey, together, one step at a time. He's alive. <laughs> At least he's alive. You're not shocked enough. My brain is just like shut down. Like to even like process anything, you know? You know, like I just, my brain's not even processing anything right now. It's just like, oh, more pain? Okay. To preserve the dawn's light, the heroes journeyed north. Their hearts filled with hope and eyes fixed with heaven's ward. <sighs> the dawn's light will shine again. This was wrong. Ah, I might just want to change out your dress. We'll put on, we'll put on some winter gear. To Ishgard we go for the first time. It's happening, guys. We're going to Ishgard. I also have a a job quest. just came say hello that's why i love this community everyone's so nice honestly thanks guys <laughs> doing it words of health attempts ah yes you may pass thank you guys <laughs> it's happening guys my first time in ishgard <sighs> and so they came at a friend's behest. Look at them in their little jumpers. It was a good job I got changed. <laughs> it was a good job I got changed. <laughs> Heroes once celebrated as saviors of Eorzea, brought low through treachery, their names blackened with royal blood. With memories of the lost, and dreams of redemption, with hope yet in their hearts, they came. Ishgard, shining city on the mount, overlooking the dominion of Kurthus. A great and proud nation, devoted to Helone, the Fury, 
ruled by Thordon the Seventh, Archbishop of the Ishgardian Orthodox Church. <laughs> the last bastion of the faith, her walls ever bristling with the sworn swords and spears of her four high houses. A land that after a thousand years of war had forgotten what it was to be at peace. Through gates long closed, the warrior of light and her companions pass, entering at last a city whose history was written in blood. In the midst of the Dragon Song War, they came. Three weary travelers oh, whose arrival would set in motion great change. Though none knew then how great. Wenn man so kann, ein Mensch vor dem Heavensward. We made it. Oh, thank you. Thank you guys for welcoming me. We did it. It happened, guys. I made it to Heavensward.